Hello everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, in this one we are covering the Rate Calculator Mod. Now I know some of you may be thinking, uh, you know, Exterm, we've already done this. Um, I did do Max Rate Calculator, uh, albeit quite a while ago anyway, uh, but that is a different mod than this one. They are very similar in what they do. Um, and Max Rate Calculator uh, still works great. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. However, after trying both of them, I do personally prefer this one. Uh, and I figured it was worth a spotlight because it's, I don't know, I just i just like it a little better. It's a little more clear to me, um, the results and how it works and stuff than the max rate calculator. So I figured I would share with you guys. Um, so it's super simple. Basically, uh, it adds a thing here to the uh, like kind of tools uh, bar here. Um, or you can pull it up with the hotkey Alt X, which you could reconfigure if you want to. Um, and then it brings up a selection tool like you like any other selection tool in the game. And you select uh, sets of machines. They, they could be furnaces or assemblers or whatever um, that make something. And you select them and then it will give you uh, some really useful numbers like production, uh, speed, consumption of items, how much it produces, either belts or items per second, um, I'll show you here. So for something super simple, uh, we'll just do like a very basic circuit build. If you needed to know the exact input amount and stuff and how much this will make, you just select these and it gives you this, uh, what I consider pretty intuitive GUI here. So uh, measure materials, we could measure electricity if you wanted. Um, I would find that less important, but if you want that, it is there. Um, and then this is what's really nice. So you can uh, measure per minute, per hour, transport belts, or in surges, or per second, which is super helpful. Um, so we can see here that there's two circuit machines and uh, they produce 180 of these per minute because that's the rate we're looking at, um, 90 each, right? That makes sense. Um, and then, uh, so so the red is production basically, or sorry, the green is production, the red is consumption. Um, so you can see, obviously we know that the three to two is a perfect ratio, which this also confirms. It produces four, uh, 540 cable, it also consumes 540 cable. Um, and then you can see like the uh, three is green, which because there's three producers here. Um, and then this is also the total consumption um, for like iron and then for the copper for this. Um, we can switch it though, if you wanna look at per second, it'll just change on the fly, you don't have to reselect it. Um, or transport belts is super helpful too. Um, so there's that. Now let's look at something that, you know, is maybe a little more complicated that we don't just know off the top of our head, uh, which is, uh, why don't we go up to like this build. So this is where I was testing some mega base stuff. Uh, if we check here, uh, this is belt base too, which is actually, this makes this really helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and select um, a set here, which is 14 uh, red science machines and a gear machine. And then this will tell us. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to express belts because that's what we're using um, or what we wanna use if we haven't built this yet. Uh, and you can see here uh, that this basically makes almost half of a blue transport belt worth, right? It's almost 0.5. There's 14 machines making this. Um, this is how much it makes per machine. Um, this much of a belt, again, remember we're looking at a belt rate. Uh, you can see that the production and consumption uh, exactly matches here, which is fantastic. It means we built this correctly. Um, and then per machine is a little bit off, but what well, not really, this is just for that one. Um, and then this here. So this is really helpful if you want to look at belts like, hey, I want to make a full belt of science or I want you know, half a belt or whatever. Um, and then you can change your belt here. Or if we just want a normal thing like a per minute rate, uh, you can see again, the numbers do match. And then this makes 1.2, almost 1.3K red science just for this set here per minute. It's all beacon and stuff. Um, and then, you know, if we want to look at electricity, we can see this is pretty heavy consumer electricity wise, 55 megawatts just for these 15 machines. Um, and then you can do like multipliers too, which is pretty cool. Um, so if we go to like two, if I want to just be like, okay, well I want, um, so actually belts would be a good example for this. Um, if we just say, well, I want like a full belt. Okay, well we just multiply it by two. If you don't want to do the math yourself, then this is what it would tell you basically. 
Um, or maybe I want like four full belts, which would be what, like eight? Um, even maybe a little more than eight, potentially. Yeah, eight looks looks good here. And then it will just give you these numbers, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so there you go. You can also keep open if you want. You can search if you want. Um, previous selection, you can go back so you can have multiple selections, which is super nice. Um, overall, just a really, really easy to use, pretty intuitive in my opinion, uh, mod um, that will just really help you with figuring out ratios of stuff, um, especially with these faster builds where things aren't exact once you add modules and all that. Or if you're playing modded too, this would be really great. Um, so there you go. That is Rate Calculator. There's a link in the description um, to the mod portal page. We can check it out if you'd like. Uh, also, quick look at the settings here. There is uh, two settings. So dismiss tool after selection. Um, you could turn this on. Basically, uh, it'll automatically be dismissed from your cursor, which I, I actually would want that on. It's off by default, but personally, I'd turn that on. Um, and then entities per tick, how many entities to iterate per tick. Um, this is default. I, I don't know exactly what this does, but it seems to work fine at default for me at least. Um, so I just left it that way, but um, you can mess with that if you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, y'all. If uh, you did enjoy, a like is appreciated. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome, and feel free to subscribe to keep up with future content. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.